G'day everyone. Well, it's been two weeks since the government delivered this year's budget and announced their plan to force people to take drug tests before they're able to receive any income support. This cruel and degrading idea has got a lot of attention since it was announced and with bloody good reason. In a few days, Rachel Seward, who's the Green Spokesperson for Community Services, will get the opportunity to grill the government on the details of this plan during Senate estimates. But before she does, we want to share with you what we know right now. Beginning in January, the government plans to test 5,000 people on New Start and Youth Allowance for ecstasy, marijuana and methamphetamines. You'll have your hair, saliva and urine tested and if you test positive, you'll be put onto the cashless welfare card and you'll be monitored for up to two years. You'll also be forced to take more drug tests. With this policy, the government's saying if you want any financial help, we're going to force you to take a drug test before we give you a cent and make it as hard as possible to access any support. Like, it's an unprecedented violation of our civil liberties and it sets a very dangerous precedent. As if forced drug tests weren't enough. If you test positive, you'll be thrown onto the cashless welfare card. That's another Turnbull government failure. This program puts 80% of your income support on a card, leaving just 20% as cash. It's meant to discourage people from alcohol, drugs and gambling, but it simply doesn't work. In fact, almost half the participants in the trials that have been running to date said it made their lives worse. Underpinning this whole experiment is a data-driven profiling tool, which will be used to identify the people to be drug tested. Now, I know Malcolm Turnbull likes to talk a lot about innovation, but the last time the government forced a cutting-edge profiling tool on people receiving government support, we know what happened. We ended up with the Centrelink robo-debt debacle. Australians don't need another robo-debt, and if there's one thing they hate, it's the government lying to them. A similar policy was recently introduced in New Zealand, and to nobody's surprise, it's been a dismal failure. Of the 18,000 tests completed last year, only 54 people had their government support quarantined. A similar program rolled out in the United States was also an expensive failure. These programs have only succeeded in further stigmatising drug users and turning them away from seeking help. State-sanctioned drug testing is impractical, it's unfair and it's dangerous. Our campaign to defeat this terrible policy begins now and you can help. Tell us what questions you'd like to ask the government during Senate estimates by commenting on Facebook or on our website. We'll ask as many of those questions as we can and we'll grill the government on your behalf. With your help, we'll defeat this terrible policy and move the conversation about drugs towards minimising harm and saving lives.